well, that's you know, but that's video stuff. That this is a Google Earth. Um, you know, uh, basically, you've got one controlling system in the middle, and all these other screens sort of follow. Oh, I thought you were going to set this up as like a, a conferencing system. Or something. No, no, no. This is it's actually this is what it's invented for, and they actually have. Uh, Mars and the moon rendered also, so you can fly, do flybys. Hey Jason, zoom in somewhere. You can uh, zoom, zoom in and see like the, the Apollo missions and the, the tracks from the lunar landers and those kind of things. So, well, honestly, I tried to steal your Very interesting data. I tried to steal your television this morning. Wow. Uh, they they, they, they shipped this they, ninth one, but I only had eight computer cases, and I was like, hmm. I can Nine store it. TVs, eight bases. <coughs> I, I can think I know what's going on here. I can store it. <laughs> well, what's the purpose of this thing? The, the the purpose is to give engineers ideas about how they might uh, do data visualization. This is all Google Earth There's stuff the with data like elements that have in the user community. Uh, but we also have uh, Mars and the Moon that are mapped out as well, and most of that data, of course, is NASA images and uh, data tracks from like the, the lunar rovers and things like that. So you can actually navigate the moon, and I think once we move it to the lobby, we'll probably set it up on Mars. We'll have to see, see which one is most uh, interesting. We may toggle it back and forth. In fact, they're working on a touch screen interface that will allow us to change back and forth which planet or moon we're looking at. So this is a the developers designing that piece. This is a technology that we have purchased for data visualization, um, and we are using it for right now. I used to be in the Google uh, in, in the Google Street View in the right next in the parking lot right next to the. Oh, you were building. Yeah. Yeah. We use the three D renders that you know, the public basically adds to Google Earth. Yep. That allow you to zoom in to see the whole 3D renders of the city. I'm surprised um, the things we were working on now that when we start talking about them, they go out to 3D to do the repairs. Right, right. So it's, it's, it's a piece of <coughs> I, I think that's a valid question. Is that certainly in Homer there's another option for that. Uh, this is all open source. You know, the, the programming, the development was all open source. They've done the Artronics is the contract owner has done some customization for screen control.